and welcome to Content Studio. Today, we'll be talking about the AI content generator, which consists of AI captions and AI images. So for that, you're going to go to the Social Post Composer in the Content Studio app. And right here, you'll be able to see the Generate AI Content option with captions and images. Let's look at the AI generated captions first. So on the right side, this is where you can write down all the information that you want your AI to convert into something useful. We also have the option to select predefined templates for exactly what you want. So that would be social media post captions, tweet ideas, Instagram captions, inspirational quotes. You can expand text, improve text by it'll rewrite it for you. You can summarize the text. It'll summarize the URL if you give it one. And you can create a list of pros and cons and rewrite something. So we have a lot of variety for whatever you need. We also have the option to change the word count. So you can select and increase yourself. Or if you select a predefined template, it'll set a specific word count for you, depending on which one you click. For example, tweet idea would have a smaller word count since Twitter has a character limit. You can also select a tone of voice. We have a large list that you can select from all the way from curious, fearful, happy, hopeful, informative, optimistic, persuasive, uh, serious, and witty. You can also ask it to generate hashtags for you and include emojis, and it'll create one to three variations depending on what you want. So let's try a few things and so that you get an idea of how to use it. So let's start off from the freestyle writer here. You have not selected a template, so you can write down whatever you like. For example, write me a topic on how to keep your business competitive in the digital world. Now let me select a voice tone. So let's say persuasive and I can click generate. So it'll initialize refined content and generate a caption. Let's see what it gives us. Since I only selected one variation, this is what it gave me. Harness the power of digital technology to stay competitive in the digital world. Leverage data-driven insights, automation, and technology to build a competitive advantage and stay ahead of the competition. So let's say I wanted to give me a listicle. Create a listicle. I can write down and I can select hashtags and regenerate caption. So right here, under the word limit that was chosen, it's given me a listicle. So you can really write down in detail what you like the AI generator to create for you, and it will do so accordingly. So similarly, let's select a social media post caption. So let's say I want to write something like selling a burger on social media. I want this to be witty. And I wanted to include emojis, three variations, and 50. Tired of eating the same old burgers? Come tantalize your taste buds with our delicious juicy burger. Treat your taste buds to mouth-watering burgers. Treat yourself to something juicy. So it's got a lot of interesting things and it also gives you nice hashtags. So let's try something different now. Let's try a tweet idea. So this could be something like wishing followers a happy Valentine's Day. There we go. Now let's generate. Happy Valentine's Day to all our followers. Spread the love, share the joy, and may your day be filled with happiness. So as you can see, it gives a lot of different variations. And if you don't like any of the variations that it's given you, you can always click the regenerate caption option and it will create more variations according to what you've asked it. So there we go. We've got more variations. You can also select the show caption history button right here, and it will show you all of the different things that all of the different versions that you generated. Let's look at something different now, like an inspirational quote. So let's say you want something like going to the gym when you're feeling low. I'm going to select something hopeful and set a limit and generate caption.
It's okay to feel down sometimes, but don't forget to pick yourself up. When you're feeling low, don't forget that hitting the gym can help lift your spirits. There are a lot of other options. Let's look at improve. Let's make this something pessimistic. Improve my statement, but with a pessimistic tone of voice. It feels like such a chore to get out of bed when you're feeling down. Going to the gym seems like an impossible task. No motivation, no energy. It's like wading through mud. So as you can see, the tone of voice again has a lot to do here. It changes the uh, feeling of the whole caption. So let's change this into something happy. Regenerate caption. Let's see the difference it makes. Getting out of bed can be so hard when you're feeling low, but sometimes to visit the gym can be just the pick me up you need. Getting out of bed can be tough, but when you're feeling low, you don't let that stop you from getting your gym goals. So as you can see, the tone of voice really changes your statement. I did, I just changed the voice of tone and kept the sentence the same and you saw how different both of them became. Similarly, we have a lot of different options as well. Like for example, the pros and cons list. Let's take a look at that. Let's do a pros and cons list on effects of social media on Gen Z. So let's keep this informative since we want factual information. There we go. It created a pros and cons list. So it tells you all the good things about it. Social media provides an easy platform to stay connected. It can help find and share quick information quickly. And the cons, for example, would be that some people could get addicted to social media. Um, you know, it can be a source of cyberbullying, et cetera. So that's really interesting. And you can uh, try it out yourself and let us know how it goes for you. We have other options such as rewrite, summarize the URL, summarize text. There's so much to play around with here. If you want a full detailed video on the AI caption generator, you can check out our webinar. I will link it in the video. Now, before we move on to AI images, these are the AI credits per word that you can buy. Uh, they come along with the package that you have. But if you want additional credits, you can always go over to the billing and plan section. And right here, you can see the AI text credits and AI image credits. So you can increase or decrease the limits depending on whatever suits you. Now let's talk about the AI generated images. So right here, we select that. So right here, you can write down a description of what you want the AI image generator to create. Make sure it's really detailed so that it comes up with the most accurate version of the image that you're trying to describe. So for example, um, make sure that you, you know, write down what you want. And then make sure you tell the generator what kind of style you want, what kind of medium it is, for example, a canvas or charcoal, you know, what if you have a specific artist style in mind, you can mention that or mention the mood that you want it to be in, whether you want it to be colorful, black and white. Um, so for example, we have uh, examples written right here. So you can check these out to get a better idea. So for example, we're going to write something like a frog in a glass in the C, for example. You can select the image dimensions below. So that's 20, 256 by 256, 512 by 512, and 1024 by 1024. So let me just select this. You can select the number of images you want it to generate. And let's select generate. Let's see what it gives us. So it gave me three images on a frog in a glass in the sea. And it's really interesting, but if I wanted to be more in detail, like for example, I can write colorful. I want it to be like Picasso, Picasso style, right? Let's see what it gives us then. So look at how much of a change the images had. 
Previously, it was like realistic images. And now we have Picasso style abstract art, very colorful images. So over here, the frog is holding the glass. So it's really different. It's really interesting. You can play around with the AI um, image generator. And similarly with the AI image generator, we have credits here that you can use. Um, so currently I've used 39 out of 50. And this is my subscription, but similarly, you'll have to go to the billing section and increase the limits if you want to keep generating more similar content. If you like any of these images, you can select one from here, add it to the editor. Add a caption. Let's say I want a caption on a social media caption on a frog in a glass floating on this in sea in the sea there we go and i want to be a hopeful one generate captions hashtags emojis let's generate three let's see what happens There you go. So right here, it says a frog's journey across the sea. Look at this amazing creature floating in a glass in the depths of the ocean. So let's say I want this one. No, I want this one. Take a leap of faith and explore the wonders of the ocean. So I'm going to add this to the editor. It's going to give me all the hashtags, all the emojis, etc. All I have to do now is schedule my posts so I can select a social media account. So for example, I'm clicking this one here. I want this to go on Facebook. Then I'm going to schedule my post. I can either select a best recommended time to post or schedule it according to my own time. So I want to select a best recommended time. And right here it says this is the best time to post. So I'm going to select that one. There we go. Now it's scheduled. That was so fast. And all I have to do is schedule the post and it's gone. If you like this, let us know in the comments below. Try it out and let us know how it went for you. See you in the next video.